Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So at the end of the previous episode we arrived to Ivendorf and found the contract to obtain Seal of the False King at Crumbled Shelter. Uh, this should be another of the like semi-scripted quests, uh, the first one where we encounter skeletons, so it should be just uh, a bunch of auxiliaries. It shouldn't be like a super difficult fight, it can be dangerous, but I think think we will be fine. I adjusted the gear a little bit, uh, so I'm gonna accept and quickly go through uh, some of the few changes that I made. So I recruited one more brother, one of the farmhands, the cheaper one. Uh, he is really bad, so it's another throwaway, so I'll actually mark him as a throwaway. Uh, I marked everyone, uh, so X's are throwaways. And then for the people who will stay, I uh, made a note to, to make it easy to remember how I want to level them up. So two people who are going to be using long weapons and then Walker will be some kind of a tank. And actually, Hor not Horik, someone here, Grimwald the monk will stay in the reserve as... Um, as is like a second or maybe even third sergeant. But also someone mentioned in comments that it's good to have a monk because of some of the events that are tied to monks. And that's true, so that's another reason uh, for us to keep him. So I think he will stay around for a while. Okay, I also bought uh, a few items. I'm not sure how many items did I bought. I think I only bought one more axe, so because I want to be able to destroy the uh, the shields as quickly as possible. Skeletons without shields go down pretty quickly, at least, at least the auxiliaries. With shields, at this point, they would be very difficult to hit. So, uh, as I said, we're gonna need those axes. I hope that even these uh, like most basic axes will be strong enough to maybe destroy their shields in two hits. Probably gonna need three, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe two will be enough. That will be great. And once the shields are gone, uh, we should be able to kill them pretty quickly. Once this fight is over, I think I'll uh, return to the bludgeon. Uh, depends on the situation, I guess. But in general, against enemies that can be stunned, I want to have the bludgeon. Okay, so we have uh, eight people we should be able to repair uh, the damage on the way to where we are supposed to go. As we zoom out, we can see that this is where we are going. We can probably, come on, we can probably go faster. I'll just keep an eye <clears throat> if uh, we encounter something along the way. Make sure that we can react fast enough. And as usual, I just started recording and my cats want me to play with them or just do basically anything else uh, but not record. Okay, uh, we don't care if you are fighting during the night here. I don't think that there is anything like uh, Undead being stronger during the night. So we can just go in and there might be a chance to actually do this without the fight, never mind. Um, well, I think there is a possible outcome where you can avoid uh, this fight completely, that you get the item and then get, get out before the skeletons can get to you. Uh, first turn, we won't be able to do anything, so I'll just end everyone's turn. And I'll have to be very careful with stamina here, because of course skeletons don't care about stamina. So if... Uh, we are not careful, then they could eventually wear us down. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone waits. And our spearmen activate spear walls. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I'm not sure if you'll be able to really um, hit anything. They will most likely do shield wall and move. So the chance to hit is most likely going to be quite low. That's fine. That's probably the first target. That's perfect. So one of them will have to use movement. Oh, that's great. Oh, holy crap, guys. I underestimated... Oh, I underestimated them so much because next turn the skeletons will once again do shield wall move. So they won't be attacking next turn again. So we are wasting a lot of their, their time. By this 
time i expected to have like four or five of them standing in front of us in melee range uh this way if we get lucky we kill one of them before they even have a chance to attack but please there we go and everyone else just waits yeah you can do that and you can't do anything okay great um and what is even better is that our spearmen will actually maintain their spear wall during the skeleton's moves at least some of the moves are they gonna wait or not no. oh they will actually move yeah this is gonna no this is fine they, he didn't attack so let's see one two we're gonna need three perfect holy crap they are good doing such a great job so with only one spear war activation we managed to hit them like three or four times on both sides that's so much more than i expected yeah but now now it will get a little bit more interesting So now we have to pay attention to, ch to the chance to hit. I think I'll go after this one because then I will. How am I gonna do it actually? I'm breaking this shield now. So that's these two and these two attacking him. Uh, these two are gonna attack him and then I can probably have these two attack him. Okay, fine. So this is the focus in the south. Move forward. I have to kill this one as quickly as possible. Uh, Grimwald Grim has basically no armor. That was a very nice hit. And we are hitting this one, right? And there was a third attack and the shield is still holding. So I underestimated their shields so much. Now it's finally gone. And I need to hit them. Come on. Come on, there we go. Uh, hmm. What's the order now? Uh, no, don't hit the head. Hit the hit the chest. Yeah, that's another head headshot. Twenty two percent. Not even sure that's worth worth doing. I could try to knock him back. That's thirty seven. That might be better. But then, if I knock him back here, I'm afraid he's gonna move up here, and that's gonna be one v one. Let's just try the lock. Yeah, I, why am I always hitting their heads? Um, it's there, and now we are in so much trouble. Yep, that's a dead brother, most likely, because he'll try to run and die. Come on, one more lucky hit. No. Oh, this one is gone. This one is gone. So that looks a little bit better. Mm, so three people should be able to take care of this one, right? So I'm going to move here and here. And you are dead. You can do it. No. You can finish him off. No. Nope. Nope. Okay, that's a bad turn. Please don't hit me. Okay. I guess just a few unlucky hits. I'm not sure if I should go after the shield. Probably. And would you please just kill him? Forty-five percent. That's not too bad. Ah, oh, guys. Yep, that's not good enough.
Luckily, they also didn't hit anything. Nope. There we go. Move closer. This one should be dead. There we go. Uh, Grimwald. You should be okay. Even if you get hit twice, you shouldn't die from it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I guess I'll just try to ignore the shield. I have so many attacks against him that I should be able to eventually get through. You'll stay where you are. You have no armor. That was painful. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. There we go. Didn't want to take more damage. Uh, because Grimwald panicked, so he'd start running away and take unnecessary damage there. Uh, Helmer is dead, but yeah, whatever. It was a throwaway. It will probably affect our morale a bit. Uh, did we get anything interesting? We got the Skeleton Potion. Potion of the Sleepless. By drinking this, even the feeblest cell sword will gain a shield arm that rivals even that of the ceaseless dead, almost guaranteed to not turn them undead either. Were it nothing, the fatigue cost of the shield wall skill is reduced by 25%. Hmm. We may already have someone for this potion. Volker, who really will be pure tank, just as much melee defense as possible, and then just stand somewhere in the, uh, in the, like a bottleneck and hold, uh, hold his uh, like position. He won't really even be attacking. He will really just keep spamming shield wall. So I think he may end up uh, using the potion. I wonder if we can get the. Uh, these potions like multiple times or if it's just like one copy of each but I expect that they will just keep dropping so that's good we got we got the weapon and the shield back two gold wow these helmets are okay for now, so I think we're going to be using them, and shields, of course, are for sale. So, leave. Uh, what is this? You're not entirely sure what it was you ran into. Windrake, long, oh, <laughs> Windrake asks uh, if you know what they said. Seems like they were pointing you out specifically, sir. Nothing you tell the man you are not sure what the armored man said, but it matters not. You have the seal of the... Uh, false king, and it's time to return to Werner, Ver Vernhard, the trade master, for your pay. Um, this cost us a little bit more than I not expected, but wanted, let's say. We got three level ups, though, so let's uh, check that first. I think I will give... Basically, it's going to be student and gifted for everyone. I value gifted quite a lot uh, because there are not that many perks. Uh, I think we can use one perk point to just transform it into stats. Maybe there will be some exceptions later for like some exceptional uh, recruits. So sell swords, uh, hedge knights, if they start with really high numbers then maybe I would value a perk point more uh, or a proper perk more but for people who started with pretty garbage stats getting the max roll stats are that's quite valuable to me so it's gonna be gifted um, hmm We don't care about that. We do care about max draw defense. I think I will take max draw melee skill. And now... I think you get more than plus 4 resolve with 3 stars, right? 
So I think I'll take stamina here. Oh, plus four is really maximum for resolve with three stars. I thought it was five with three stars, okay. Uh, here it's gonna be defense, resolve, fatigue. We need to be able to sp spam rally. Uh, we need, of course, as a surgeon, have resolve as high as possible. And actually, no, I'm an idiot. Why am I taking melee defense when uh, Grimwald won't really ever stand in front line? He's gonna have the banner. Oh, I'm stupid. I wasted those points there. Oh. What was I thinking about? If anything, I should have taken uh, range defense if I wanted to. Uh, fuck me. That's a character that in the end will be in the reserve, so. Yeah, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. One, two, three, I guess. No, no, one, two, three, this is what I want. Yeah, there definitely should have been range defense uh, last time. Oh well. <clears throat> It's gonna be definitely melee defense. Because it's max roll, I'm gonna be taking the melee skill. Actually, what if instead of a spear tank, I made Volker an X tank? Because then I wouldn't have to worry about melee skill at all. I would just be hitting shields. So I'd be able to focus on stat, on tank stats only. And just go defense. I don't care about resolve that much. I will take it here and there because I will end up taking Rally with him just as like a support uh, skill that I may use here and there, but it won't be anything crazy. The, the tank stats, especially when they're max rolled, are the priority. So if we get like plus two hit points and max rolled resolve, I will probably take resolve. Defense. Yeah, this is the case. This is gonna be resolved and hit points. The stamina plus two is just so bad. I'm gonna make a note that this is gonna be an X tank. Um, that's definitely melee skill. Range defense. We don't need that much stamina because we're going to be using light armor here. So it's going to be initiative. If we get levels where the range defense is really bad, then I would take either hit points or fatigue, depends on the rolls. Definitely that. Yeah, this is the case. Garbage, um, garbage range defense. Well, all of the rolls are kind of bad. I'm going to take hit points. 47 is really bad. Also, plus three initiative is, is just horrible. But it's... It's our second most important stat after melee skill, so I have to take it. It 
it's really bugging me that I messed up uh, the first points for Grimwald. Not an important character at all. But still. Oh, wait, one more thing. We got those helmets. Those are definitely an upgrade for some people. So you need at least some helmet. And 48, 51. And you will get an X because your melee skill sucks. 52, 51, uh, and you'll get the bludgeon. Who gets the second helmet? Grimwald. It's like 40 extra points. Okay, we're gonna be keeping this, 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 this. How many tools and supplies do we need? Six. So at least we can repair everything without buying another stack. They have high spirits. Two hundred and seventy-seven for the tools and supplies. I'm tempted to buy a stack. How much do we get? If we sell everything, I may even sell the sword. I mean, we have an extra X, and the, sh the, the sword that's 52 gold. Oh, and um, they have a bow here. I definitely want a bow. Because I forgot that if the AI doesn't feel threatened by your ranged attacks, it just stays in place in defensive uh, like formation and doesn't go anywhere. So we need to have someone with a ranged weapon to force the AI to move to us. So we're gonna do that. Uh, I will buy one stack of tools and supplies. A bow, arrows, and unfortunately there is no armor that I would be willing to buy. Now we definitely need some chest armors. Uh, if we check recruits, we, there is Fritz. How much is that? 230. We are paying 60 gold uh, every day. We can probably hire him as another clear throwaway. Oh, come on. Give him the shield axe. He'll stand in the back, better helmet, but we desperately need to uh, to give these two some kind of armor uh, that's for sale. 41, come on, 48, okay, so you will always start with a bow and then switch to a pitchfork, at least for a while, until we get like dedicated archer. I'm not sure how many archers I'm gonna end up with. I could do like two archers, one crossbowman, or maybe one archer, even two crossbowmen. So I, I think I'm gonna test crossbows a little bit more this time. Food, we have enough. How, much, how many points is this? 35. Now that sucks. That's not worth it. Okay. So, the plan last time that I talked about was to go out either south or north, do a little bit of exploring. But I think I want to focus on quests. So far, we got pretty lucky with quests. So let's just hope the luck holds and we'll just go from village to village basically explore all, explore along the way a little bit maybe so i think i'll go here climb this mountain and then go to Felswall. 
So basically directly to Felspar. From there, north, one, two, and three. I'm not sure. This should be a forest town, so there might be some like poachers. I don't think we'll have enough money for hunters or boyers. I'm not even sure that I. I'm not sure I should get the boyer early. Try to get the masterwork bow, uh, but it might be too early for that. So maybe get try to get a poacher as a dedicated uh, early archer. Pretty sure this is a forest uh, forest town. So hopefully we get him there if he's not here, and then just. Well, then continue here, and then we will have like a circle. We will just keep running in circles and keep doing contracts in between these towns. Don't want to go north. I definitely don't want to fight barbarians yet. And don't want to go into the desert. There is nothing in the corner. So this is where we are staying. Um, so you can... Now we can go here. Don't think they will find anything, but we'll at least have a look around. Should give us pretty good vision. Oh, there is something, but something that we don't want to even look into. You are being attacked, great. Few brilliant friends. I mean, this is not too bad. Um, I just want to say that I probably shouldn't go that that close to the uh, to that ruin. And before I could finish it, even finish saying it, we got ambushed. But few raiders. Hopefully, it's two of them. This looks like seven. Oh, bad, 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 really bad. Uh, can we take up somewhere position with high ground? Uh, fifteen. Seriously? Where did the rest? It didn't look like they had reinforcements. Uh, I think we'll just retreat. I mean, it's only 15 of them, so we would surely be able to easily defeat them, but I just decided to spare their lives. Yeah, it's the reinforcements from the ruins. It just surprised me a little bit because on the screen before the fight, it didn't show two groups. It showed only one group, a uh, few raiders and some thugs. Um, how does this work? It's been a while since I retreated. Retreat from combat. Yeah, it's seven of them, so we just have to run farther away from the ruin and then let them chase us, ideally, and fight them somewhere else where they won't have their reinforcements. I want to fight this group. That's much better. Uh, this might be a problem. It might be a huge problem. So five thugs, two raiders. 
Uh, this one has such a nice gear. Holy crap, if he could, could dab it, like, oh my god, such a nice boost it would be. Let's see how the terrain looks like here. Excuse me. Okay, so people without armor have to be somewhere in the back. Uh, you'll be here, that's for sure. I need Pathfinder. Okay, so they're all moving this way. Uh, that sucks. I understand why they're doing it, but I don't like it. I'd love to start hitting this guy. It's the most dangerous enemy by far. But it's what it's 49 here, it's 62, and so much easier to kill the thugs. So maybe if I kill enough thugs, the raider uh, will actually just panic or have such a low morale that he won't be a problem after all. Oh, and I don't want aim shot. Yeah, now it's 25 46, so definitely, definitely the thug. Didn't hit anything. Uh, how do we do it here? Wait. I need to know what exactly they are, are doing. They'll move back. They'll move there. Okay, now some of them are going this way. I think I want to have a spear on this tile. So you'll move back. I could just move like this and have spears next to each other. Wait and Fritz is gonna stay here for a while. I need to know what this guy is doing. Undecided for now. I would like one of the thugs to end up here, so I probably won't even activate spear wall. But I want to make it difficult for them to go here, so I want this spear wall. Yeah, now they will just start dancing around me. Okay, that's fine. Wait. Okay, and they changed their mind completely now. Wait. It was a good hit. Wait. You know what? Let's just not activate the spear wall. I could move forward and try to hit him. But 
Like you can just see this radar moving here, then hitting me. Uh, that was probably worth it. 71% chance to hit. Okay, this is this is good. This is not good. Didn't think he would be so successful with those axes when he's standing under me. Good. You have to go back, that's for sure. Come on. Wait. Wait. Okay, and now it would be great if we could just keep him stumbled. <clears throat> Kill. Kill. Oh, that was such a nice hit. Okay. Now, the question is, do we move towards him, force him to, to change weapons? It might be a good idea, because then Ferdinand could move here and start hitting him from the high ground, and overall we will have high ground against them. So I think I am going to do it, and maybe even attack the thug, hoping that I hit the head. Move closer. Uh, now I can start moving here again. He has no helmet. Yeah, we want to use the lash. This is okay, I think. I'm gonna move, how am I gonna move them? I think I want to move Don Barrett up. Or do I? It's one of these two. I have to go here. No, I probably want to do it this way. Attack, miss. That's bad. Now, in what order One, two, three, do they move? This guy is locked, and then it's done. Okay, so I can move forward. Attack. And secure my flank. Wait. Come on, we have 63% to hit. I need help. That's what is that? Pierced shoulder? That should reduce his melee skill a bit. Uh, let's keep trying to hit the head. Excellent. 66 for the stun. We hit, but we didn't stun, unfortunately. Uh, 88, finish him off, please finish him off. That's really nice. Yeah, some damage, but it's okay. Kill, perfect. Wait. Hmm. Even without armor, I think we should be fine. 
against the bludgeon. I just want to make sure this guy doesn't get uh, to my uh, pikeman. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. Now it, now it looks good. They might even be faster than they are. No, they are not. I think we can call this a pretty successful fight. Uh, now it can get only better if we get uh, some of the gear from the raiders. If we could get that pike, holy crap. So three level ups. And we did get the pike. And we got the morning star as well. We got uh, a decent piece of armor. We can definitely use that. We got the helmet. Wow. Couldn't have gone better. So, level ups. You'll definitely get gifted. Everybody's gonna get gifted, throw away or not. Melee skill, melee defense, probably stamina. Melee skill again, that's uh, a max roll. Hit points, probably melee defense again. With that axe, hmm. Sixty-four. What do we give him? I think I'll still keep giving these guys crippling strikes because injuries early uh, they can make such a difference if you have uh, some of the more serious injuries uh, that affect either melee skill or stamina it makes a huge difference against raiders I don't see anything else that I'd really want to take. Melee skill, no melee defense, unfortunately. So I'll take stamina. And the last one is probably going to be range defense. I mean, all of the other stats were completely irrelevant or, or just horribly rolled. And Ferdinand, well, gifted. This is just going to be melee skill, initiative, range defense. Uh, we have seen what happened to Vinric. I really want to make sure this doesn't happen too often. So I think I need to, <clears throat> I need to boost the, the range defense to like 25 at least plus 3 melee skill again there at some point I think I want to get the, the hit points over 60 and maybe fatigue to 100 ish Okay, out of you two, you have, we are at 71 melee skills, so congratulations. You have much better weapon now. This one is 30 to 50 and this one is 60 to 80, so almost double the damage. <coughs> uh, helmet. Also armor. You are in the front line, so you get the armor. And... You get the helmet. 
There's going to be quite a few tools and supplies now. We have the Morning Star to replace Bludgeon. What do we sell? Get rid of these. Oh, by the way, I noticed that uh, the Physician's Mask has a secondary effect. Only take 50% of damage inflicted by harmful miasmas. I'm not sure what is harmful miasma exactly. Uh, but I think we want to keep this and figure it out. It might be things like uh, what the, what skeleton priests are using, those clouds of poison, I, that would make sense. We want to sell... Actually, do we want to sell the throwaway access? We could give it to someone, but everybody has really really low range skill update 41 nah, i'm gonna sell those axes i'm gonna sell that i'm not sure if i want to sell the pitchfork i'm gonna keep the shield i think you can sell both bludgeons spear. i don't think i want more than two spears I could probably keep the pitchfork for now, so this is for sale. How many tools and supplies do we need? 19. That's more or less what I expected. This is not the best timing, but on the other hand, we need the repair, so I don't mind camping in front of the city uh, for a few hours to speed up the repairs. Okay, how much do you guys want for tools and supplies? 208, oh, that's nice. So all of that. 765 do you have quests for me you don't i can't hire anyone just don't have money out of curiosity we should probably check the marketplace in case there is like really cheap armor around 60 points no there isn't <coughs> For 208, I think I have to buy the tools and supplies. Food-wise, we should be fine. We have enough food for two days. Let's buy more bread. And now we can't buy anything anymore. Just curious if there is anything here you might be interested in if we had like 12 1300 maybe i'd try the the miller shaman the cheaper one okay uh, wait, wait, wait. you need to start with the bow always Okay, so that will be all for this episode, I think. How are we doing? 8 point wise, 44. So we are healing uh, quite fast. That's good. Next time, I think we will just have a look around here. Try to find more brigands. Before we get to V... What is it? V the mark. We need more money and I'm not sure that we'll be able to get a contract here as that's a large city so these contracts probably won't be available yet. We could also check this area or up here they could be some there could be something for us to attack. I would like to find the brigand camp where I would see the garrison first. If it, if it was like few brigands some thugs that would be the target that we are looking for. At this point, we could maybe even try more than some targets. 
Tugs are now becoming basically cannon fodder. But well, we will see, we'll see next time. As I said, uh, we are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you can join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.